I was logging into my bank the other day and I was looking at all of these stock photos on the website and I thought to myself, wow, these are so easy to make now with AI image generators. Like I have made photos exactly like this in Midjourney. I wonder how much these websites, these big companies are paying for these stock photos. And it got me researching into the topic and there is a large demand for businesses to purchase these type of stock photos. And some of the prices on these stock photos are ridiculous. To buy the license rights to use this image, the large version, is $656 Canadian. The small version, $328. And that's just the start of it. And even if you need stock photos for your own business website, there's no need to purchase them anymore. You can make them with Dolly 3, with Midjourney, with Stable Diffusion XL. You have endless possibilities. And this is all possible now with generative AI. Let's learn how to make these images and hopefully earn some money. Before we get going here, I have a new course, how to build an AI app. Link will be in the description soon. It might change your life. So there are many places on the web to sell your stock photos. There's Shutterstock, iStock, but the only one that allows AI generated content is Adobe Stock. It's the only one of the big three. There are some other smaller websites, but to get the most bang for your buck, we are going to sell on Adobe Stock. So go to stock.adobe.com and then we're gonna click the sell button in the top right corner here and create an account. I'm gonna sign in with Google, fill in your details to create the account and it will land you on this page. This is your dashboard. You can see your total downloads, your earnings all over the past 12 weeks. All right, first we wanna fill in our profile details. So in the top bar, click contributor account and fill in these details here. I'm gonna change this to West GPT. Fill in your address and then add your tax information. There are some rules when uploading AI content. First off, you can't upload AI content that uses prompts containing artist names or prompts intended to copy another artist. Has to be original, has to be unique. Okay, you can't submit AI content with titles that imply that is depicting an actual newsworthy event. Can't make up an event and then post that image. They also provide you a few tips. The best ones from this document are to be selective. I know we can generate thousands of AI images, but only the best ones are going to sell. So it doesn't mean to take everything that you generate and upload it right away. Be selective, create a high quality portfolio. Edit to enhance your images. If you can create some space on your image so that the person buying can add some text, some icons, some other images, etc. Use a variety of sizes. These image generators can create square images, landscape, vertical. And if you create in multiple aspect ratios, you're gonna get more sales. Because there could be a person that's looking to buy your photo, but wanted it in a landscape orientation and you create it in a square. So cast the widest net possible. Relevant metadata, we'll deal with this later. And then create content in high demand categories and they mention major holidays like Christmas and Valentine's Day. I'm gonna talk about this in a second, but it's a great way to ensure that you're on trend. To generate our AI images, we're gonna be using Midjourney. Midjourney released their newest version, version six. It's fantastic, it's incredible. It makes the most photorealistic images you can possibly imagine. And Midjourney is a Discord app. So if you don't have it already, quick walkthrough, go to midjourney.com and then scroll until you see the header bar, you're gonna click join the beta. It's gonna to wanna to connect to your Discord account, so I'm gonna authorize that. Then in your dashboard, hover over the bottom left side, your profile, click it, go to manage subscription, and you're gonna need a paid plan. These are your options. Now the basic plan will work for this business model. You do get general commercial terms on your images, which means you can sell the images that you create but you only get 200 per month. And when you generate with Midjourney, each prompt will give you four images. So that means you can do that 200 times. If you're gonna start creating more images and take this business seriously, 
it's probably best to upgrade to the standard or pro plan. You get faster generations and then even the option to be a stealth image generator, which means the pictures that you generate won't be shown on the Midjourney website. So after you subscribe, you'll be dropped into the Midjourney Discord server. And I like to create my own server. So I'm gonna to go to the bottom here, add a server. Let's create my own. And we're gonna call this Adobe Stock. This is my new server. I'm gonna go back to Midjourney. I'm gonna find the bot on the right side, click it, go add app, and then add it to the Adobe Stock Discord server. Hit continue and authorize. Now you'll see the Midjourney bot is in my Discord server. This means I can start generating images with Midjourney. Now, most stock photos that you'll find are photorealistic images. There are multiple styles that sell. There are illustrations, there's vector art, there's anime, cartoon. But to get the best results with real looking images, these are the settings you'll use. To pull up the Midjourney settings, hit slash settings. I'm gonna click this and hit enter. Now make sure you change your Midjourney model to version six. By default, it's gonna be version 5.2. Version six is the newest model. We are gonna want raw mode selected and stylized low. This will generate images closest to our prompt. But what type of images should we start to create? Back on the Adobe Stock website, I'm gonna to go to Insights. And Insights is made to inform you of what type of content is currently trending based purely on sales. And I believe this is over the last calendar week. And looking through all these photos, it's pretty obvious. We're in early January, we just had a new year. And a lot of the top trending photos are related to New Year's. Very creative ideas. This is like dice, spelling 2024, changing 2023 to 2024. A lot of fireworks, snowmen. So as mentioned in that tip doc, major holidays and events are very popular. They're usually trending. And the next big one that's coming up is Valentine's Day in February. So let's start making some photos on love. I'm gonna open up a new window and let's go to a different stock photography website. I'm gonna search for Valentine's Day. And let's sort by popular, let's see what's coming up here. A lot of these are illustrations. Can we get any photographs with people that look like they're in love? All right, here's one here. A couple kissing, looks like the man's giving the woman a gift. And I'm gonna take my snipping tool, I'm gonna to grab this image, go over to ChatGPT, I'm gonna paste that image in, and prompt it, describe this image in one sentence. Midjourney works well with short prompts, so I wanna kinda of get an image prompt so I can recreate this image. Let's send it through, and perfect, here we go. So I'm gonna take away the image depicts. I'll just go a couple sharing a kiss on a couch, with the woman holding a red gift box and both surrounded by cushions. The cushions part is interesting. Let's see what it's gonna generate. I'm gonna copy this. Let's go to Midjourney. And to generate images, we're gonna go slash imagine. That is the prompt for Midjourney. I'm gonna paste this in and then go dash dash AR, which means aspect ratio, and then three by two. That's gonna make a landscape horizontal image. These are all the aspect ratios that are available in Midjourney. And the basic is the square. Here are the types of landscape that you got. You can go as long as seven by four. And it appears to be the exact opposite of vertical two, four by seven. So I'm using three by two and let's send it in. Oh, I love these, these are perfect. I'm gonna click this, go open in browser. Oh, I hit it right on the head. And I love this one, a couple kissing on the couch. The fingers look a little weird in this photo. It's close. This one's better. I like that there's no hands. AI image generators do really bad with hands. I guess this one's okay. It doesn't quite look like he's gripping the box properly. And actually, this one's okay too. This one's a little hip. I love this one. It's a fashionable couple. Okay, I'm going to use the third one. So when you found an image you like, we are going to use the upscale button. Now U1, U2, U3, U4 means upscale image one, two, three, four. If you think an image is pretty close but not quite there, you can click the V button for variation. Let's say I really like this first one but I didn't like the hands. I could try V1. It would try to regenerate that image and hopefully you'll get something that you like. But I like the third one, I'm gonna click U3. 
And as it is, this image is too small, too low of quality to upload to Adobe Stock. So we do need to use their in-house AI upscaler. And in previous videos, I used a bunch of free tools on the web. This is so much easier, so much better. So just in Midjourney, you're gonna click either Upscale Subtle or Upscale Creative. Now the way Midjourney upscales images, it's not gonna be 100% the exact same image. It almost like recreates the image, which is why you have two options here. Upscale Creative will make the most changes to your image. Upscale Subtle will make the least changes to your image. Now I like this one as is, so I'm gonna use the Upscale Subtle and the upscale actually takes a bit of time. To generate the images, it's like a minute. To upscale, it can be up to five minutes. So I'm gonna pause and we're gonna resume soon. Okay, our image is ready. Now I don't see much of a difference at all. I know it says a subtle change, but this feature has been pretty good to me. So I'm gonna right click and choose Save Image. Back in Adobe Stock, I'm gonna click Upload and I'm gonna drop that file into here. Now let's fill in some of these details. File type is a photo. The category is people. We could also do lifestyle. I'm writing the title in English. You have to select this box. It was created using AI tools. We already went over the rules and requirements. All good. Click the people are fictional. And now we need a title. And for that, we can just use our prompt. So I'm gonna copy our prompt and paste that in. Now we get 49 keywords. This is part of the metadata that's gonna get your images discovered when people search. Now by default, Adobe gives you some suggestions. And I found these are okay, but not quite good enough. And plus they only give you like 20. So we can do so much better. This is a custom GPT that I made completely free. It's called Stock Photo Keywords. And it generates 49 keywords for you for your stock photos. So all you gotta do to use it is attach the image that you're uploading to Adobe Stock. All right, there you go. And GPT-4 Vision is gonna scan that image and give you the best related keywords that other people can use to find this photo. So I'm gonna send it in. There's gonna be a link in the description so you guys can use it yourself. Now I see Christmas here. The AI is not perfect. It can't tell that this is Valentine's Day, that's fair. So I'm gonna change that. But let's copy these keywords. Go back to Adobe Stock, paste them in, and we went one over. And I'm gonna change Christmas to Valentine's Day. And now we can go submit file. Check these boxes and continue. Once you submit the photo, it's gonna go into review for a short time, and then they'll tell you if it's not accepted, if you need to make some changes, or if it's published live, ready to make some income. So my game plan would be to generate hundreds of high quality photos for all the different holidays, look at what's trending, try to copy the style of those images. Here are some photos of confetti raining down on a woman smiling. I feel like I've seen this photo on every bank website possible. There's an infinite number of ideas around stock photography. You just gotta be creative. So create your portfolio. If you're gonna generate human images, do it with Midjourney. If you wanna try illustrations, I recommend Dolly 3. They each have their specialties. Reminder to check out the course in the description. We will be launching soon. And if you like this video, there are two more on the screen right now, similar topics, all about AI. Go check them out. All right, peace.